one, it's Kylie Batucci Stamping Up Demonstrator in Australia. G'day. So I just swapped over the chair. I had the squeaky chair. Oh, I've gone too low now. It's still a little bit squeaky, but not as squeaky as the other one. It needs a good spray with cooking oil or something. <laughs> Hello, welcome. It's so good to see you all. Patricia, Cindy, look, I'm out of breath already. <laughs> Lifting a chair. <laughs> Yvonne's here. Susan's here. So lovely to see you all. Even Wurgy, no snorting today, Wurgy. She does like to laugh with a snort. You know when Wurgy's in the house, when we hear. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Charlotte. Oh, so good to see you all. I hope your week has been good. Crazy, crazy, crazy that it's another week again. I'm going to say it every week, but it's like blink and it's Friday. We're here again for, for, for more crafting fun and games, right? So I'm really excited about today. It's a bit of an epic one today because I started trialing a few ideas last night and we all know what happened. I caught the bug. I got the bug last night and I should have been in bed, hence the red eyes. I should have put my little drops in today. <laughs> I've got my I've got my Zoom eye drops. <laughs> I've been doing so much Zoom <laughs> that I've been trying to look after my eyes. <laughs> but uh, yes, I caught the crafting bug and I ended up staying up a bit too late, later than I should have, because I was having so much fun. This is one thing, vellum, is one thing that I think we kind of neglect with stamping up. And I wanted to show you how you can utilize this gorgeous, gorgeous cardstock because they do actually call it cardstock. It's amazing. So if you don't have it in your repertoire, it's definitely something that you need to add to your shopping list. So I've actually got um, a sample here. I've got a whole heap here. I think this is a couple of packs, but this is how it comes. So it's quite for vellum. It's thicker than you probably think it's going to be. Um, and it's got that beautiful sort of opaque look, but not very see-through. It's not, not overly see-through. Um, and it's just a really fantastic different sort of paper to work with. Now, Stampin' Up! have also brought out the in color vellum as well the shimmer um, vellum and it comes in 12 by 12 and i thought we'd have a bit of a play with this today as well because this is a brand new product just in this annual catalog and we kind of want the vellum to stay right or for them to bring out maybe new colors which would be really exciting and the only way that's going to happen is if we purchase the ones that are in there and use it because then stampin up will go oh yeah, this is popular. We'll definitely put this in the catalog again with different colors as well, which is really cool. And I hope after today, it will show you exactly how you can utilize this gorgeous, amazing paper. So I have got, honestly, there's an anaphylactic craft shock in this room because my creativity kicked in last night and I got so tired. I'm like, I'm not even gonna tidy tidy. I'm not even going to do a clean. I'm just going to wake up in the morning, fresh as a daisy. Never. <laughs> but that's what it looks like, the 12 by 12. So definitely go and check that out. If you just put in vellum, or as Bruno likes to call it, vellum. If you just put in vellum, you will find this beautiful paper. Now, let me show you a few little tips and ideas of what you can do with vellum. Now, Andre said a really good point. Oh, I just knocked my knee. Uh, Andre said, it's one of the thickest on the markets that I've tried. And I refuse to use anything else. They're too thin. I agree, Andre. It is the best quality. The best. Oh, Doodlebug. Oh, that's really cute that you're here. I love my color shimmer vellum. Yes, Charlotte loves it. <laughs> Jesse, we're all waiting to say it, Charlotte. <laughs> Jesse's in the house. 
<laughs> Jess is like, I'm, I'm here. Why aren't you announcing me? <laughs> Hi, Joanne. I grew up on the Gold Coast. I went to school on the Gold Coast. I went to St. Michael, St. Michael's College in, in uh, Merrimack. I don't know if you know that area. My father had restaurants in Broad Beach, Currawa Surf Club. Yes. Go way back. I used to work at Jupiter's. I know the Gold Coast very well, <laughs> a bit too well. That's why I'm in Melbourne now. <laughs> so pa Paper Dreamer's here as well, and she's from the UK. Lovely to see you all. Oh, Jessie, Vealum. <laughs> oh, Kerry's in the middle of Dancing Queen. <laughs> I can't stop singing the new song. And then I do a mashup, and it turns into something else. Yeah, it kind of becomes one of their other songs. <laughs> So I am going to jump right in and show you, oh, Harvey Bay, that was where I was born. <laughs> Harvey Bay, Gold Coast, moved to the Gold Coast when I was two. I was actually born in Maraburra, just near Harvey Bay, but there was no hospital in Harvey Bay. So that's why I was born in Maraburra. Otherwise, I would have been born in Harvey Bay. So there you go. It's a beautiful place of the earth. It really is gorgeous up there. Now I'm going to do a little bit of a flippy flip. I think that can go over there. Yes, I don't need those. And I want to show you exactly the little prototypes that I've come up with. And we can have a bit of a play as well. But I just wanted to see what textures and what things I can put on uh, vellum. Because sometimes I think the most difficult things I have found about vellum is stamping on it. Like what do I use to stamp on it? and also how to glue it. I think that's probably the biggest issues that people have. And I probably will need a little bit of your assistance in terms of ideas on gluing. I've tried a couple of things, but you might have some other ideas for me because I think sharing is caring. <laughs> so we could all help each other. And no, Jesse, you're not watching This Is My Life, but it does feel like that at the moment. <laughs> I was born in Harvey Bay. <laughs> So, what do I need? I feel like there's a little cord here that shouldn't be here. Oh, yes, I've moved that one. Oh, yes, okay, I have a clean slate now. Oh, no, it's the light that's in the way. I'm like, what is what is obstructing the view? But now it's wonderful. Hello! <laughs> so, what have we got? Oh, Paper Dreamer just finished her ink collection. So, grab your Beveragino of choice. What beverageino do we have this morning? I've got my black coffee. It's a very long one today. It's a Stormio. Royal Pines. I went there for I went there for tennis with my mum and my friend Ruth. The Pines. <laughs> it's not to be confused with the Pines. That's in a different area from Muriel's wedding. By the Pines. <laughs> yes. A tiny bit of glue and then smear it. I like that idea. I think that was my problem with the one that I used the Tombow. <laughs> I put a bit too much glue. <laughs> okay, here we go. Are you ready to see this really cool idea? So the first thing you want to do is, and I think with the stamping, I did use Memento because Bruno hates stays on, but I'm actually going to trial the stays on. Don't hate me, Brynn. I'll clean it straight away. I'll clean the steps straight after. I'll make sure I've got my cleaning sham chamois here. My chamois. Wow. Smearing a bit of glue works great on the shimmer. Oh, that's great. I didn't actually... I moved on. I moved on and went to the stamp and seal. I know. And it actually worked wonderfully. The other thing that's really good too is the glue dots. They are super help helpful. And for those of you that have issues with the stamp and seal, just get the stamp and seal plus. It's actually brilliant. It's if you have trouble with it engaging, then that's a really good thing to do. Or just make sure that you're putting it on the um what do you call it? What do you call that little square rubber thing? Silicon mat. <laughs> What is that? What is that thing? Yeah, the silicon mat works well too. So you can have that underneath and then it grabs easier. 
So I've got a piece here. I'm just going to start on the plain vellum and then I want to show you some ideas of what you can do with the other vellum. So I'm just cutting it down. If you have my card templates, then it's the Poppy Parade size. If you don't have my card templates, oh my goodness, how are you even card making all right now? You're eyeballing, aren't you? Don't eyeball in your card making because it'll only lead to frustration. So go and get my card templates and never eyeball again. Never be lost for measurements again. Never have to do maths ever again because <laughs> we hate maths. Well, I do. Rachel Tessman loves maths. She's like a mathematician. She's a bit clever, that lady. That lovely lady. Did you see her? You're a peach tutorial this week, by the way. Oh, yeah, I have to do a show and tell. I'll do it afterwards. Stay around for my show and tell. I'll do a little sneak peek here. Because look, look what I did. I did that for the tutorial, the You're a Peach tutorial yesterday. And it's using the You're a Peach sentiment stamp. I did the background, a masculine card. And, um,. Cheryl Miller, my friend Cheryl, she's a demonstrator here in Australia. She said, that very much looks like a Bruno card. I thought, I thought it does very much look like a, a Bruno card. So, yes, there you go. Who would have thought from your Peach, which is a very feminine suite, that you could get a masculine card. So, yes, we've done a massive big bundle up. If you haven't got the bundle of the your Peach yet, you need to. Rachel did an incredible job of um turning those peaches into other fruits i know it was so clever it's upside down oh whoopsie thank you it's jesse <laughs> it's because it's back to front there so i couldn't tell either way <laughs> yes she is very good at math <laughs> so for the rest of us who are not good at math then check out my card templates because yeah I think majority of us are not math people. Uh, so there's the card template tutorial. So you can go over there and grab the card templates. Yes. He, oh, you said it too. Maybe it was you, Jesse, that said it. Is that a Bruno card? <laughs> uh, welcome, Donna. Rest up. So we've done our little choppy choppy here. So we've got four really cool pieces of vellum here. And we'll do the same. I'll just do one of the um, pieces of vellum here. Remember that these were 12 by 12, but I've just chopped it down at the poppy parade size so that you can get six card fronts from one sheet of 12 by 12. So this is why it's good having measurements because then you can utilize your products to the best of their ability. Isn't that gorgeous? Can you see the shimmer in that? It's so pretty. So these colors here, I'm pretty sure are just jade, polished pink, fresh freesia, bumblebee, is it bumblebee? Oh no, pale papaya. Pale papaya and evening evergreen. So it would be cool, like these may not be your colors, but it would be really cool if Stampin' Up! could bring out something like coloured vellum in different colours. So if that's something that you want and you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, please request it because I think it would be really cool to have vellum in lots of different colours. But I'll also show you how you can, if we don't have it in our colours, how we can make it in our colours. We can make it in any colour we want, even if Stampin' Up! don't come to the party. <laughs> we're like we'll make our own party <laughs> we'll adapt so I'll just do this so that I can show you a few different colors see isn't it great when you know exactly what you're chopping it and then these can all go into I'll cut it down and then I put it into one of our clear cases so you can see here this is one that I've chopped. This is the hand or beautifully penned uh, designer series paper. It's a celebration paper. And so I just chop it into the poppy parade size and then put it into 
my clear case so it's ready to go and be used at all times and you can cut it down you don't have to have a full piece but you can cut it down which is good showed your 10 year old son this the peach set oh that's great why do peaches look like bums <laughs> so true <laughs> uh, i love kids just keep honest kids <laughs> say it how it really is now, one of the things that I wanted to do with this, so there's two options here. And one thing that I really wanted to try today and show you is embossing on vellum. A lot of people don't realize that you can emboss, which is a lot of fun. And what I decided would be a nice set to use is our celebration stamp set. And it's called it is absolutely beautiful if you don't have this set i say dahlia dahlia <laughs> i never know how to say this one i'm like beautiful delicate dahlia dahlia <laughs> i'll say dahlia i think it's dahlia for me but it is absolutely gorgeous and for something like this this particular one here with the outside is perfect for vellum so let's have a play of that and do some stamping because I know you love stamping. So the first thing I do is get my embossing buddy. And yes, it I trialed it. It does make a difference because I did it without and bits of powder got stuck where I didn't want them sticking. Um, if you live in Australia, we do have um, embossing buddies in our online store um it's a digital store this is not our stampin up store this is like our own little store that we sell our tutorials and training and all sorts of different things so that's separate to the stampin up one so let's have a little play here with these bigger ones i do like to bring the ink to the stamp just so that it, it gets a better coverage gets more ink on it and what you can do if you want to if you can't see too well um, the image but I've got my light here so I can sort of see the image fine but if you don't if you can't see the image you can just emboss in between each stamp which will take you a bit longer but will it will be a bit more accurate for you now just try and stay when you're stamping a background like this whether it's stamping with color or stamping like i'm doing now just try and stay in the one area like you might be inclined to go oh I'll put that flower here and here and then all of a sudden you don't have any room to, to sort of stamp the in-between parts so just stay close and build upwards or however way you're going to go and I've got the flower on this side so I've got the flower over here so I'm just going to put it over the other side just for something a bit more pleasing to the eye Bruno's in the house I'm like oh my goodness what happened with all the Bruno hello Bruno's <laughs> hi Bruno Vittorici well, it's interesting. I tried Memento and I do like the Memento on the vellum. Um, but it does, it did sort of smudge a little bit. And I'll show you my prototype. I did a few prototypes last night to just trial and error. So I would like to try the stays on today. <gasps> yes, Bruno, I'm using stays on. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. And I don't know where my ShamWow has gone. It's meant to be in the top drawer and I have no idea where it is. Do you happen to know where it went walking, Bruno? <laughs> Do you know where the sham wow is? <laughs> it's probably under a pile of things in this room. Somewhere around here. Stampy stamp. I think I'll do... One more partial flower up the top here. Okay. It's a very small flower, but it makes a difference. It just puts in that gap. Go 
good. Okay, so we'll do some embossing. I like to use white, but you could use, I think it'll look really hot with black. I'd love to see some of you try black emboss on this. In fact, maybe that's what we need to do. I think I've just solved my problem, Maria. How do you solve a problem like Maria? <laughs> Poor Maria's in the world. They're not a problem. I spoke to a new team member last night. <gasps> so excited. And she is absolutely adorable. Like, adorable. And she's Maria. But I could tell that when she was a child, she probably did get in trouble. <laughs> but she was a lot of fun. I'm like, I love this woman. I feel like I know her. And she was so cute. She goes, well, I've got a head start because I feel like, I feel like I know you. I feel like you're my friend and I could have a cuppa with you. And I know you because I watch you on YouTube. But you have no clue who I am. But I just instantly, I was like, oh, you're my people, Maria. You're my people. So I'm very excited about her joining our team. So if you live in Australia, join us. This is the month to do it. You get a bundle for free. Who doesn't want a bundle for free? Look at that, people. Isn't that just the most spectacular thing you've ever seen? Black embossing is the best. I agree, Andre. I think we should try that next. <laughs> it's a bit of a trial and error day today. Today's let's just try everything out. And this is what I love to do. You know, I love doing this. This is how we learn. I think a lot of us are scared to make mistakes or maybe we watch YouTube videos where everything's perfect and there's never a mistake. Good for them. That's definitely not me. I am not Lisa Curcio. <laughs> but I love Lisa Curcio. In fact, that's how I met Maria. Thanks, Lisa. Maria and I are very, very grateful to you. <laughs> Lisa's like, sorry, you can't shop with me here. But I'll send you to Kylie. <laughs> so I'm very, very happy. Now, I tried both heat set. Um... If you don't want it to curl too much, you probably will want to go on the lower speed, on the lower heat. I don't know if some of you knew that there was a half setting because all we do is blast it. <laughs> um, but I tried both and it seemed to be okay both ways. Because look, it's still curling and this is the half speed. So just blast it. <laughs> we haven't got time for wasting. <laughs> So um, Carol actually asked a good question. If you join, how much must you spend every month? Now, I think that's a really interesting way, even the fact that you've got in capital letters, must. Um, we kind of have this weird idea that once we sign up, that we're somehow contracted into shopping with Stampin' Up! Forever. <laughs> and that we have to spend. No, you don't have to spend a cent. You could join and never spend another thing again. However, if you want to keep your discount, then in Australia, it works out to about $120 a month, which is very easy to do. Um, yeah, I do that shopping in bed at night. I blink and it's like, oh, just spend $120 in one shop, let alone in one month. But if you ever get to the point, and I say this to a lot of my customers, you also get 20% discount. And I say to a lot of my customers, if you ever get to a point where you can't spend that amount uh, per quarter, um, or you are struggling a little bit with reaching the quarterly minimum, then you just come back as a customer. So at least in the time period that you get to stay on as a demonstrator, you're getting 20% off. Usually, depending on when you sign up, what month is it now? September. So you'll get September, October, November, December as your, and then January. So you get five, if you sign up now, you get five months guaranteed. Don't have to spend a cent. You get to stay as a demonstrator um, because the quarter ends in December because um, you're signing up part way into a quarter. So you get the next two months no with nothing. Um, and then the next quarter is the um, October, November, December um, that you're looking at, you know, having an amount. And then January, you get a buffer. They give you a buffer month to try and make up that amount. 
Um, and then, you know, what's the worst case scenario? You just come back to us as a customer in January. So it's just a really great opportunity, particularly because there is a new catalog coming and there's so many new catalogs now. Um, we're gonna have another mini <laughs> that gets released. We also have a Stampin' Up! event on stage that is registrations open now for only demonstrators. So if you wanted to be part of that, you need to join to be part of it. Who here is going to on stage? Me! I'm so excited about on stage. I think we should organize some on stage pins, Bruno. We should do like love it, chop it pins. <gasps> do you think that um, our friend in the Philippines can do designing for love it, chop it? <gasps> that would be so fun. And we could all wear, wear love it, chop it pins. <laughs> Cause I'm loving chopping. I'm chopping my vellum. Yeah. In each quarter it's different, but yeah, it's just, it's an awesome deal. And you get lots of fun and opportunities. Just make sure you sign up with the right team though. If you're not in Australia, um, even if you are in Australia, make sure that you're signing up with the right person because we don't do face-to-face. -face. We're completely online and that may not suit you. So just ask questions as to who's the right person for you. What are you wanting? What's your expectation? You know, is this person actually running it as a business or are they just like, oh yeah, sure, I'll put it in an order and then you never hear from them again. Look how many on stage people there are. <laughs> We're going to have a party. We have to try and find a way to do like a Zoom during the event. How are we going to do that? That would be so exciting. I'll set it up, okay? <laughs> I'll find a time that suits us all. <laughs> Maybe it'll have to be like during one of the breaks or something. You can jump into our Crazy Crafters Zoom event because we're having a Zoom event the whole time. It's just going to stay open. So I'll have to share share a link so you can jump in during the break. <laughs> how fun we don't watch it with each other we just like watch it on our own device but it's just nice for the ones that maybe didn't sign up and last year there was a few that didn't sign up and they came to the zoom and they were like oh, serious case of FOMO so this year they're like we're definitely signing up it was like so annoying not not being able to watch what you were all watching <laughs> yes yes anyone can come to this event because some people, the backstage event that we went to, that was a leadership event. And so some people think on stage is only for particular demonstrators, but it's for everyone. So, oh, Elaine will miss you. I hope you don't get FOMO. <laughs> so yes, we've got special products coming out that's just for people who go to on stage and yeah, they've got really cool things. Like it's a big Stampin' Up! event that's all online. And it's just so fun. I loved it last time. I thought it was fantastic. So let's color this baby in. So you can just leave it as is. This is pretty gorgeous, I have to say. I'm pretty amazed with this. So if you wanted to, you can just layer that on there and be very, very happy with that. Now, there's a few options that we have here. We could color this with blends. And we can do a little bit of a trial run. <laughs> As I said, we're going to be mucking around with this, which is good. We'll do one one part um, with the daubers and one part we'll do with the blends. And you can have a little look at both. So let's see here. Um, I've got a, a really nice Blackberry Bliss. Now, I think it's actually personally better to turn it over and colour uh, because the blends will actually pick up. It will colour in the embossing yes so oh you've learned so much Laurie I'm so happy we've got to we've got to help each other learn you all help me to have learned so much from all of you I love it when you give me all your tips it's like oh that's a good one <laughs> we all help each other don't we so let's have a look at this blend I've got blackberry bliss which is just gorgeous now these are the stampin up blends oh that's freesia we don't want freesia yet oh we could even do a blend with freesia as well let's do a mashup of freesia and blackberry bliss and see what see what happens um so these are the alcohol pens they are different to the water-based ones because they blend really well and they're fantastic on the vellum i have to say i really do like having 
the blends on here now just for the sake of it looking pretty and for you to see it properly I'm actually going to put down a piece of oh hello I'm going to put down a piece of paper I know I've got the, the 12 by 12 12 by 12 backing sheet which will protect my surface and it will mean that you get to see things properly because um, I think the grid paper can be a bit distracting. Ooh, now you're seeing things properly. I can see clearly now. And I'm going to just do a little bit of zoomy zoomy. Super sensitive, this little camera. Ooh, that's better. Just so that you can see properly. So let's just start with, I mean, I really, I just guess this all the time. People are like, how do you color in? Oh, just wing it. So you could start with light and then come in with dark afterwards or go with dark. Hi, Cheryl. Good to see you. Willem. <laughs> Poor Bruno, he said at one time, um, if some of you don't know the Velum joke, he said it as a joke one time at, um, on stage in New Zealand, we were doing a live, and he kept going, it's Velum, and he was just being funny, because he's just like, he loves to stir, and I kept, I kept getting baited, and I was like, it's not Velum, it's Velum, and he's like, no, you say Velum, and everyone was like, no <laughs> he got it for ages people thought he was serious i think <laughs> it was very funny it's like bruno oh, i've gone into my colors and mode <gasps> seriously it happens straight away i just go oh, i'm relaxed now la 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 if you need chilling out just pick up a pen and color Get a whole lot of these beautiful, delicate Dahlia Dahlias <laughs> and just, just colour. They're just gorgeous, aren't they? So I've just got my little lines happening there. It looks weird, but you'll see when we turn around what happens. See, Kylie, it's the one way you can get me to be quiet. Get me to colour. Bruno, FYI, if you're sick of hearing me talk, <laughs> I'm totally Dory. Call me Dory because I have a tension span of Dory and I can talk underwater. <laughs> I really can. It works well for YouTube videos. <laughs> But someone did ask me, they said, how do you, how do you talk for that long to yourself? But I think that's why I probably love YouTube lives because I, I really genuinely feel like I'm hanging out with all of you in a craft room. Like I feel like we're all sitting together, having a cuppa, having a beverageino together. So it doesn't actually feel like I'm talking to myself at all okay ready so that looks terrible doesn't it it's like what on earth is that mess but check it out <gasps> isn't that beautiful so that's the blends look so it's a lot more subtle like that that was blackberry bliss which as you saw even on there was quite strong um but it's just a really beautiful subtle look if you want that sort of almost like stained glass look it's it's just a really really beautiful look and when you layer it on that um, piece of basic white like wow look at how that pops isn't it gorgeous so there's a color in, um inspiration challenge color ink inspiration and they have a challenge this month to use um, blackberry bliss old olive and so saffron we don't have so saffron in the blends but i do have the light daffodil um so i thought i'll i'll use this for the color challenge and um 
our crazy crafters team we're catching up this afternoon which is in a few hours time and we're going to do this color challenge together because it's just like the colors are beautiful together Cheryl Miller from Australia came up with this color combo and how beautiful is that so that might be a color challenge that you want to check out on Facebook you don't need a, a blog to take part it's not our challenge but yeah go and check it out color ink inspiration and I'm pretty sure they spell color the um, UK Australia way which is with a, a um, C O L O U R we do use Whereas I think in the US you just have O-R, not O-U-R. Yeah, so it's not my challenge blog, but I really like it. And it's it's it been inspiring me and giving me sort of something to go with. Because sometimes we just, we're not sure of what colours to do. And this really helps get the mojo returning. So if you've lost your mojo a bit, highly recommend it. So we'll use our mossy meadow, which, you know, I wouldn't pull out my mossy meadow. So that's what I love about, you know, trying a challenge. Whee! Now we will try this guy in sponging. We'll see what he looks like. Although maybe I'll just stamp. I'll stamp again and we'll do another one. <laughs> As I told you. Epic. So many things to play with and try. So many ideas. This reminds me of what um, the back of cross stitch looks like. You look at the back and you're like, oh, that looks so ugly. But then you turn it around. It's a piece of art. It's a piece of Picasso. So this one's going to be really light. Which I like the contrast. I think it's nice to have like a bold one and then a a nice light one so just be careful I know it's got a tiny like you probably can't see it but I've got a tiny little bit of um, the daffodil has escaped and ended up here so just be careful it just needs a little bit of time to dry you might want to get your um, heat gun blast it if you need to start coloring or just be mindful um, not to put your hand in there because it will it will spun um, smudge for a bit Zen mode so pretty I'm doing all of them before I turn it around because I want to go, surprise! <laughs> Look at this. I'm going to do light again, I think, down here. I really like that. I think just the one, the one dark one is nice. Okay, we ready? Y'all ready for this? <laughs> Hunkspend. <laughs> I love it. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, just love it. Love it, love it, love it. So pretty. And it's just a different design. It's a bit of fun. It's some coloring, which we all love to do. And it's just, I just really enjoy it. I think it's a fun little thing to try. So I want to do the, um, 
basic black one. Um, oh yes, I do know where my basic, I'm like, do I know where my basic black is? Yes, it's right in my drawer, right here, right here, right now. <gasps> I can't read any of the labels. I have to put it on the light. What's that one? Shimmer white. Some of these don't even exist anymore. Clear. But I like to keep them. I don't know if it's meant to be. Oh, there it is. Yes, black. So the black embossed did go and then returned. It came back. Yes, isn't it gorgeous? So, yeah, you can test it out. I really like the dark flower too. And this is nice and subtle, but it's just so pretty. And, and I'll just show you, actually. I'll just do a very, very quick um, sticky stick just to show you. So someone said um, about doing the Tombow and then smudging. So that's an idea. Um, but I really like the idea of using my tape and the seal is very good the plus so you just run it along the edge here and we'll see what you think this is this is the way to trial it people and just maybe behind the flower there just so that it's not too ob obvious in the middle but um, you can see it a little bit. So maybe the Tombow would be better on the ones, on the colored one, I think go with the tape. But on this one, yeah, no. Nah. Use the, because you can see it here. So use that technique that, um, who mentioned it before? Was it Charlotte that mentioned it? Using the Tombow and then smudging it. I mean, it's not bad. You know, just don't send it to a card maker. <laughs> send it to one of your relatives and they all have no idea <laughs> oh yes there's also the gold vellum too thank you for bringing that up paper dreamer bought that up yes so yes that it does have that i mean it's not bad and maybe you can burnish it and sort of soften that a bit but i think yeah when it's see-through like this or maybe just place it behind the flowers and the leaves so that you've hidden that tape. But look, it's not, it really isn't bad. Yes. So there we go. That's gorgeous. And if you get, what have we got here to put the base on? Let's see what it looks like with the base. Because it's all about the base. Oh yes, you could put a frame on. I like that Bruno and hide it. <clears throat> That's an excellent idea, Bruno. Yep. <clears throat> so I'm just going to do something here. What time is it? I have to keep an eye on the time <laughs> because <laughs> I've got an appointment and I'm going to be late. Because <laughs> this is, honestly, this was me last night. I had so much fun. I was like, wee! <laughs> Next minute, it was like 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> I'm like, Kylie! What are you doing? Okay, I'll just do a little zoomy out now, now that we've finished our colouring. There we go. And I'll do some choppy choppy. Just do your, your base. Yeah, it's flooded with a bit wick of Stella. No, I'm leave. Nothing to even look at here. <laughs> Can you try a mono one on the colour vellum? Ooh, of course. I have prototypes for you, Yvonne. I did some trial and error, as I told you. <laughs> I'll pull them out in a moment <clears throat> and show you all my different different techniques that are going to blow your mind. <gasps> yes, I agree. Only put it where it's where no one will see the tape. But yeah, that's that's how we learn. Or the Tombow smush technique, the multi um, multi purpose adhesive. So there we go. Siri just um, started chatting to me because I said, are you serious? I've got to stop using that term because she always pops up at the wrong time. Okay, so I think I'll stick that down and I'm just going to do a really simple embossed sentiment on here because I, I want that to be the hero. I could chop it down a bit more 
if I wanted to. Um, another thing that I thought would be really nice to do actually, if you wanted to just not have it just plain like that, that's the actual sound when you, when you, <laughs> is to do something like this. Let's try this because it's actually a really cool technique, this one too. FYI, watch this. I'm going to bring my stamp cut and emboss machine in, my skem. I haven't done the haven't done this yet. We'll do that with the black, right? We'll have a play with the black. So what you can do. This machine is beautiful by the way. If you don't have one of these machines, you need her in your life. You really do. So just line it up. Pop it in and run it through. And that's going to cut. Now this die is a must have. This die, oh sorry for bumping you, is from the seasonal label dies. They are brand new. They're in the latest mini and they are absolutely gorgeous. I have been using it. It's one of my new favorite dies. The Hippo and Friends were one of my go-tos, but this one here is just beautiful. Oh, I didn't really center it very well, but ignore that. <laughs> just look away. Avert your eyes. All the OCD peeps out there. Bruno, don't even look. You're going to cry. I'll cover it with something else. <laughs> but this is a really cool technique, and people will literally go, how did, how did she line that up like that? How did she stamp? like that. So this is really good if you have a pattern. Maybe you want to cut out a word. You can cut out a word from your beautiful background image. So I'll stick this down and show you what it looks like. Nancy! Hi! <laughs> okay. Let's stick that down. I can't believe how crooked it is. I was so cut with myself. Normally I'm very, very careful. It jumped. It jumped in the machine. <laughs> and then, oh yeah, I could have evened it up. That's true. But then I'd start eyeballing. Eyeball. And then we'll do a bit of this because this is going to create this beautiful layer. This is just a really simple way to just make a card that's flat. I mean, it still would have looked gorgeous if you just left it as is, but this is just that extra little bit of wow that you might want to add to your card. Just a tiny little layer and yet just makes a really cool little difference. I'll put a sentiment over here and, and no one will know a thing. None of you know. <laughs> you haven't seen a thing here. <laughs> so what sentiments have we got? Oh, I do like the be inspired one. I'm going to use the be inspired. You inspire me. You all inspire me so much. You really do. Okay. I think I've got a scrap piece of Blackberry Bliss rather than cutting into this one. You're proud of me, Jesse. You're proud of me. I'm using the scraps. Although the scraps are just as big. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that one's better. We'll use it from this piece. So we'll just get our little buddy. Don't stress too much when you see all this powder. You'll be like, oh my goodness, there's powder everywhere. Don't wipe it on your clothes. <laughs> Ask me how I know. And then we need our powder. I like to use my mini grid paper. 
as a catcher. Beautiful. I'll take out that dimensional backing from, <laughs> from the embossing powder. <laughs> Those dimensional backings are just everywhere. One of my team members, it's so cute, she um, sent me a gift, Nancy um, Hetka, and it's like a little vacuum. Isn't <laughs> that the cutest? Whee! And so it picks up all my dimensionals for me. There you go. Goodbye, dimensional backings. <laughs> she got it from Amazon or something, I think. <laughs> Yes, you could do that. <laughs> I've got too much to show you to come back to this card. I can remake it. Yeah, that's right. If you have a, if you want a perfect card that's handmade, just go go spend five dollars at the shop. <laughs> I can't see it, so it's not there. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> now that um, little peach um, label that I used, I think it's such a great little sentiment um, die to have in your repertoire. It's very handy. I'm just going to see if it, I don't know if it'll be big enough for this one, but it's a very handy one, this one. This one's a keeper. Yeah, it's a little bit too big, but I really love that. Oh yeah, it's got some of my hair here. Poor Bruno, my hair's getting so long because I can't go to the hairdresser. And Bruno's just like, how does hair end up in every bit of food? <laughs> I need to tie my hair up every time I cook, I think now. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not used to this thing, hair everywhere. I'll just do some snippy snippy. Mm. Yeah, I'll do it that way. We'll just test this out. Mm. It's actually not bad. That's the best thing about being crooked, crooked on your card. You can be crooked with your sentiment too. <laughs> So I'll do it there and then it'll like look like this rustic look. This rustic um, off the side a bit look. <laughs> no one will know. They'll know. No one will know. They'll know. No, they won't. They won't know. Just going to put another one on this side because he's off the edge. I'm off the edge. Mm, I actually want it a little bit more in. So I might take that off after all that. It's my prerogative to change my mind. I'm a woman. I'm allowed to do this. Yes, that's better. See? Oh, yes. And it kind of just takes away from that. I probably would have put it down there, like I'll show you here, it had I not done a crooked boo-boo. I'll show you down there. Where do you all like it? Do you like it down there? I do like it on here, or probably in the middle here. But because everything is a little bit skew if, I'm trying to hide the skew ifness. But yeah, probably in there would be really nice too. Mm. But I like that. I think that hides the little, little boo boo. Now, let's do the inside of this. I'm just going to do some stamping. And I'll do Blackberry Bliss. Blackberry Bliss on the inside. There we 
go. It's nice to decorate the inside. Hi! I just had a delivery. Oh, yes. This sounds exciting. Oh, Bruno and his plants. Show everyone your plants. Hi, everyone. Hi, Bruno. Oh, that is beautiful. Isn't it nice? What's it called? It's called a... Um, Pepperonia Scoomy Red. Wow, it's this one's gorgeous. A lot smaller than I expected. <laughs> Some of them end up small. What's the other one? <clears throat> I'll hold that one. Oh, you're right. Yeah, hold it. We're collecting plants. So, this you should be at 50 now, shouldn't you? This is a oh, oh, wow, it's very small. <laughs> Look at the picture. That looks gorgeous. Wow. We love our plants. This is 48. You should see it. It's like literally a forest out in our living room. <laughs> well, thanks, everyone. Oh, Bye. Thanks, Bruno. <laughs> Do you like this? Is your, is your OCD hurting you? Yeah. Oh, I that's good. It didn't bother me. Yeah, it's not bad once I put the sentiment on. It's really nice. It's pretty, isn't it? Yeah. They haven't seen the rest oh, yet. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Show them your face. Show them your face. Bruno just looked around the room. I looked around the room and I'm like... <laughs> it's such a mess. <laughs> I told you it's a craft anaphylactic shock craft in here. A craft a mouth. <laughs> I'll take a picture for you all. I'll pro I promise I'll post it on... Um, I'll post it on Insta. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to everyone who's followed my Instagram, by the way, because I'm 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 getting to how many are we at? I think I need another two thousand seven hundred subscribers to get to ten thousand. <laughs> I'll get there. I will get there. So yes, if you can please follow my Instagram, then yes, please follow. Yes. <laughs> how pretty is this? Okay, I want to show you one more thing because I did remember that I had a prototype here. I want to see what it looks like with sponging. And please try the black. I think the black is going to look hot as. Paula, we've probably only got about three of those varieties. Yeah. Ah, what? 100. That's amazing. So let's try. I'll do the same color, the Blackberry Bliss, and we'll see the difference with sponging. Here we go. Ooh. So this one here, you're clearly not going to be able to go right to the edge. It's not going to be as accurate. But you can fill it in like that. It's a lot quicker. <laughs> that was very fast in comparison to using the blend. So if you're in a hurry... And you want a similar technique, but in a flash. And then what was our other colors? Um, mossy and so saffron. You're so saffron, girl. You're so saffron. And mossy. Okay. Where's saffron? There it is. Bit of saffron. I'm going to do a sneak peek just to see how it looks over here. Hmm. Oh, yes. Okay, and then we need... Oh, we can put that back. We need Mossy Meadow. Oh, the Mossies. The Mossy needs help. I do need to replace this. 
<laughs> I remember that from a little while ago and I never got around to replacing it. They do eventually need replacing our pads. Okay. Okay. Let's have a look. I'm going to put down this backing so we can see it properly. Ready for the piece of resistance. <gasps> I think I like it just as much. Look, it's different, but I do love that like white edge. It kind of adds to that drama of the vellum. Isn't that cool? So imagine that done in the black emboss. Really, really pretty. Hey. Yes. Love, love, love. Now, there is something else I want to show you with the vellum that is going to blow your mind. The other thing I want to show you, I'll just move this over here. Do a tiny, tidy, tidy, which means just moving things to new places. <laughs> the other thing I want to show you, which is literally just so incredible with vellum, and I want you to see it for yourselves. I want you to watch it because I've already done it, but I don't want to just bring it in. I want to do it in front of you. So we've got our plates here. Um, which one do I want? I think I want the... Bring this over just in case. Oh, I do love that one. I'll do a few for you. <laughs> Can't decide which embossing folder I'm using. Because <laughs> the embossing is <gasps> amazing with vellum, people. You are just going, your mind is about to be blown. So let's just put our plates here. With this one here, the Just Jade, I'm going to do it like the macrame, macrame, I should say. We call it macrame like vellum. <laughs> we have all these names that we call it that are wrong. <laughs> and then I end up saying it live like it's how you say it. It's like when we say, are you casting nasturtions in my character? <laughs> it's a bit of a Kath and Kimism. If you don't know Kath and Kim, you've got to look it up. Um, uh, Mum, I'd really like to be effluent. You will be effluent one day, Kimmy. Now, run it through only once, okay? You don't want it too many times. Saving that, okay? Just please wait me. I want to show you something else. I'm going to do this one here, which is the, <gasps> the must-have die of the century. If you don't have this embossing folder, pretty flowers. <gasps> you need it in your life, stat. Go shopping now. I've given you permission. So Kylie said, all these husbands in the world that hate me, <laughs> they're like, stop making my wife spend money. <laughs> stop enabling her. <laughs> uh, where did I put the little top piece? Where are you, little one? <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to find you. Oh, no, I don't need it, actually. Because the other one was a 3D. This one's not. But I tell you what, it looks like a 3D. So this is very important that you run this one in particular through only once. Okay. Yeah, I love Kath and Kim. You're casting nasturtions on my character. <laughs> I love it when they mix up their words. It makes me laugh. It makes me lol. Okay, you ready? <sighs> This is really exciting, okay? Oh, I'm glad you liked the Instagram training, Sally. Oh, my goodness. Check it out. Can you see that? Can you see that, people? <laughs> How beautiful is it? It's so beautiful. <laughs> Boom. 
So let me show you this. Someone asked about stamping on the vellum, the colored vellum, doing the embossing. This was what I did with Tombow glue. <laughs> you can see it's, it has some issues, but that would look amazing. So that's on the shimmer. Okay. And what else do we have here? What other prototypes do I have here that I can show you? I've got so much show and tell over here. It's ridiculous. I told you I was like crazily in the mode. And that's the, I think this is polished pink, this one done with that beautiful dye. And then I've, I've used the, the tape on this one with the, on the basic white. So once you stick it down with the basic white, it makes a big difference. But check this one out. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful that is. So that's just on the white vellum, the regular vellum. Now the 3D embossing fold, the two embossing folders that I used was um, macrame, but the pretty flowers is just, oh, divine. So with the macrame, I came up with this quick prototype last night because I was like, how can you layer this? And I wanted to show you another little idea. Oh, and there's my other prototype, just doing the stamping on vellum. So this is where I used the memento and there is, there is like bits of black in here. Um, and I did the coloring from behind. This is when I didn't do the coloring from behind. You can see that it all smushes. So definitely do it from coloring behind. Um, but I think the best thing now that I'm remembering the black emboss, I think that that's even better than the stays on, to be honest. I think black emboss would look hot, 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 hot on the vellum. So yeah, do the, oh, the adhesive sheets are good for vellum. Good to know, Kayla. I was thinking if they layered over the top of each other, they might not be happy, but excellent suggestion. I really like that idea. I did bring out the adhesive sheets but i just didn't think of using it to stick down mm, excellent i'll do it for this one and then we'll see how we go but with this so we've also got see what i mean i've, I've got so many ideas from this and i hope your creativity goes bing from this because it was so much fun um but i've got these gorgeous summer shadows dies that are also a celebration um, product that you can only earn right now so the beautiful, delicate um, Dahlia, the Summer Shadow, all of those are only to be earned, okay? Now, I thought it would be really pretty to have the shimmer vellum layered over this basic white. How gorgeous is that? And you could have any color behind here. You could even have the same color and then have the shimmer vellum layer. But I thought I really want that vellum to pop and you can see here, like that just looks so gorgeous, doesn't it? So I'm just gonna do a little sticky sticky here. And I think this is fine to just use your Tombow. But in fact, look, listening to Kayla, I should have just done some um, adhesive sheets on here and it would have been a whole lot easier. Smarty pants, Kayla, love it. Chop it. So, look how pretty that is. And it's all sparkly and gorgeousness. It's just a, a really nice, different textured material to play with. And I think it's nice to have just something a bit different. And this one here, I'm just gonna do the middle only and kind of leave these flowers free. Now you do have to line this up before you stick down. There is a, a right and a wrong. So just be patient, just keep spinning until you find the right edge. And then I could even add a little bit of bling in the center there, a bit of a rhinestone or something like that there. And then all I thought I'd do is layer this down and I will try the adhesive sheets with this one. And then I thought having the thick white will be a great addition to this card. Now 
Now, one thing I wanted to show you as well. Okay, let's try that out. I'm just going to stick that down. But one thing I do want to show you is, say for instance with this, you can see here that this is going to get lost, right? If I put that on there and a sentiment, it kind of, it just is floating. It needs to be grounded. It needs a layer. But we don't want to take away from that beautiful background, right? We don't want to you know cover it with something i hate covering it so this is where vellum is really really handy because you can still have a layer and again i'm bringing in that gorgeous seasonal dies cut out and we can layer it on top of here we still get to see through we still get to see some of that gorgeousness we're not covering it completely it still feels like it's part of the card and yet it's giving this gorgeous space for it to ground that flower and add a sentiment or maybe some other little embellishments. So it's a really, really great idea, this one, to just layer that down, add your sentiment, and you've got this beautiful frame here that you can use. Now, another idea with this is that, say you've got some super out there paper that you find is a bit ott you're like oh it's so gaudy or it's really bright really loud then use your vellum use your vellum to just tone it down um maybe even the gorgeous sparkle paper you're like oh, oh it's just too much I, it's not for me well pop a little bit of vellum over the top and you get a completely different look a completely different um like it almost looks like honeycomb when you look through here. So you could have a, a totally different feel, a totally different look by just adding the vellum. The best way I can describe vellum is it's like when you want to turn down the opacity a bit, you know, on your images. You're like, I just want to tone it down a little bit. This is you're toning it down. Now, the other one that I wanted to show you was our beautiful celebration paper that, again, you can only earn it. You can't buy it which is our uh, beautifully penned paper. Now you can see this one here, it's extreme. It's like, whoa, well, just pop a layer on like this. And all of a sudden you have an instant space to just add some flowers. Like again, you could do this flower exactly like this, you know, same layout that I've just done here, but with paper. And you've got your love it, chop it. You're not covering that gorgeous paper because we want to highlight the paper, right? Can the sparkle paper ever be too much? Not for you, Kayla. <laughs> you asked for sparkle and you got it, girl. <laughs> Stamp it up, listen to you. <laughs> so this is a great, great way to do love it, chop it and just add this little special extra um, you know, layer to just help that calm down even this one here you can see it's just full on but add that layer and it just gives your you know whatever you layer on top of this it gives it that room to focus because if you put something on there directly it's just going to disappear it's like what flower or what sentiment i can't even see you i don't even know you're there because you just you've been crowded out by the noise but this helps it tone down and gives you that, you know, bit of space to just still see that beautiful paper through, um, but calm it, calm the farm. When you put it on, just calm the farm, okay, paper? You just need to, you need to calm down. So there you go. They are all my tips. And I did a couple of things here. Uh, so what did I try? I tried the painters embossing folder that one came up really great if you don't have this one you need this one too just get all the embossing folders and all the vellum okay just just do a big order <laughs> and remember when you get to five hundred dollars in australia that you get given this stamp set as a freebie and you could combine orders with a friend um we've got the brand new expressions in ink kit so I had one of my customers ask some friends, do they want to make a kit together on Zoom? And she messaged her friends. She messaged, I think she messaged six people. And she said, oh, I wasn't sure if those six would all do it. And she got an order for 14. Well, 12 actually. <laughs> 
12 kits. So they're going on Zoom together and they're going to be doing the Expressions in Ink kit together. So if you haven't seen that kit, please go and check it out on the online store. And maybe you want to do some crafting with some friends and then you can score yourself a free stamp set. She got rewards as well because when she spends $500, she got, I think, 12% back on freebies. Um, plus you get all the celebration items. So that was five free celebration items that she got because she just asked some friends if they wanted to do some crafting with her. <laughs> Isn't that the coolest idea? I was so impressed with her. <laughs> yeah, Charlotte, that's the way to do it. After she bought her skem, her stamping carton emboss machine, she bought five embossing folders at once. Perfect. I love it. Love it. So I am so excited by this and I hope you are as well because it is just so exciting. I don't know why I haven't been using my vellum more often and I really, really hope that this has given you inspo. I'm going to trial that adhesive thing before we go and I don't think there was anything else I needed to show you. The only thing I want to leave you with is please... Please join our team. You're going to have so much fun being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Oh, there's the adhesive. <laughs> no, that's not the adhesive sheets. <laughs> no, that's not the one. I was like, that was too easy. How did I find that so fast? No, no, no. I have so many things that I have pulled out because I was so excited. No, no. Look at me, I'm like pulling everything up. No. <laughs> oh, found it. It was three layers under vellum. You can stop looking, everyone. I found it. Yes. So let's have a look here. And I probably could run, put this on before I run it through the embossing folder, in fact. I think that might be the way to go. Just use your... Um, silicon sheet to guard your um surface because you probably will end up with a little bit of glue so it doesn't have to be like overlapping this is very exciting kayla mccauley i'm very very impressed And then the bit at the bottom. I'll probably, rather than stick it on, I will chop it and do it smaller. Oh my goodness, can you hear my stomach? <laughs> I'm like starving. I'm going to have a really nice, beautiful tub of natural yogurt and some bananas. I'm trying to be good. I had donuts yesterday. Shh, don't tell Bruno. I hid them from him. <laughs> I just wanted to trial this and see if you can see like if it has to be all together or whether you can see yeah anyway you know what I mean you know what I'm talking about now what do I need to do here I forget oh yeah I'm peeling it off oh the one thing it probably does need to because I do remember doing this it does need to run through the embossing machine first like this is kind of working, but it would be better to run it through the machine. But for now, we'll just burnish this and it should stick down. Because it does find it a little bit difficult to peel away the adhesive if it hasn't had pressure. We'll see how that looks. Yeah, it's a little bit tacky. But yeah, I should have... I should have actually put it on first. It kind of worked. <laughs> uh, don't you love it? Job it. I hope you enjoy me being as real as possible. <laughs> Trialing everything in front of you. <laughs> no, fail. <laughs> yes, worked. No, fail. It's how we learn how to craft. I'll do it directly on the base, actually, because it's all about the base. There we go. 
piece of resistance. It actually looks really good. That is brilliant. But just do it before you run it through the embossing folder, okay? Yes. And that actually is brilliant, Kayla. Brilliant. Love, love, love. I'll just see what it's like on this. And whether we need to cover the whole thing. Maybe you could cut it. Yeah, if you cut it with it then it would be like the absolute perfect size for it. So no, don't, maybe don't, oh, you could stick it first and then cut it and then it's going to be the whole thing perfectly. Let's try that. Let's do that then. It's good to chop it beforehand, but for the sake of time... <laughs> Because I've got seven minutes left. There we go. And I probably should have actually put that as close together as possible now that I've done that. But anyway, we'll have a look. Let's check it out. Check it out now. love playing with you with you all it's so much fun we're always learning I think that's the key like you've got to remember not to be too hard on yourself and remember that all of us are going to make mistakes that's how we learn like when your kids make mistakes or they fall down or something you don't yell at them and go you're so stupid but we do it to ourselves why do we do it to ourselves we would never do that to a, to another human being or a child. So why do we do it to ourselves? It's not kind. Be kind to yourself, people. Be nice. Now, where is... <laughs> Can you hear me looking for the other piece of the... <laughs> okay, everyone, you've got to help me. I'm looking for... <laughs> the other the other part of this <gasps> found it I found it <laughs> now that's probably moved so let's do that I think that's that little middle bit's going to be an issue but anyway we'll see it's a good way to learn remember don't be hard on yourself it's just the best way to learn yes I love it Kayla yes the whole piece is sticky that's brilliant love 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 I'm going to be using the adhesive sheets a whole lot more now I reckon and if you don't have them add that to your order too <laughs> you need it wow you can really dance wow so let's see in the middle yeah so it does need to be covered the whole way but anyway let's see stuck down what it looks like i'll line this one up properly this time okay that's cool so yes definitely line it up you can just slightly see it there but line it up as close as you can. Probably even it's better to overlap than not lap. But we're going to add the little flower and the leaf and no one will know a thing. <laughs> no one will see anything. <laughs> yes, please add the adhesive sheets. They're so good. Look at that. Look how cool that is. <clears throat> it's brilliant. Thanks, Kayla. We have had a very, very productive live today. Don't worry, that's going to dry clear. I want it a little bit more that way. Oh my goodness, that is so adorable. <gasps> Stinking, love it. Chop it. <clears throat> I'm just going to use this bit that I've cut out because I did try that first. And I'm like, no, I want to see more vellum. 
I want to see something in there. I'm going to do white emboss. First mark. Don't be afraid to use your um, embossing powder. It's the best. Use it all the time. Just make sure you've got all your tools. It's such a cute sentiment. That's from the um, You're a Peach set. To a, to a sweet friend. It's got a bit missing on that side. So cute. <clears throat> I'll chop that out with our you're a peach dye. I think I'll bring in my little mini. <clears throat> Who's got the mini? He's so cute. <clears throat> See, he's a he. Mini's a he and the, the stamp and cut and emboss machine, the skim, it's a she for me. I don't know why. But it's just it's just the way it is. I've got to get some new plates. They have been used very, very well. Especially for a sentiment like this, you need it to line up. Bring back washi. Bring back washi. Kylie Batucci is taken to the streets of Melbourne in an attempt for stamping up to bring back washi she seems to be very serious about this this request means a lot to her <laughs> oh yeah what am, what am I not looking at <laughs> put some ribbon over the gap oh that's a good idea that would be lovely but I've already stuck it down I've got to go somewhere in. Oh, now. <laughs> quick, quick, quick. Let's stick this down. I'm going to use an, a little mini. Oh, my goodness. Look how cute that is. Oh. Isn't that adorable? Adora bubble. It is so cute. <clears throat> I can't find the minis, so I'll just quickly do that. <laughs> I'm just bringing it out a bit so that you can see that little cut. Oh, that is so adorable. Thanks, everyone. That was a brilliant live today. I had so much fun. Did you have fun? Please tell me in the comments. And add everything to cart. <laughs> Go shopping. I give you permission, remember? <laughs> I have granted you permission to shop. Please don't hate me, husbands. So just to recap, embossing with vellum, layering with vellum, <clears throat> um, and then we've got the heat embossing with vellum. Okay, so there's your heat embossing with vellum. Isn't it the best? I know you're all going to have so much fun with this idea. And please tag me. Tag me on Insta or Facebook. Tell me what you've tried. Tell me what you did. Because I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see what you all come up with. And look at that one with the with the spongy on vellum. Yay! It was great, wasn't it? Thank you all very much for coming. I had a blast. That was brilliant. I had so much fun last night too. So I knew today was going to be fun. <laughs> Oh, hello. Where's my little face? There it is. 
So let's put our little cards here. Yee! It was so good to see you all. Mwah, 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 mwah. Thank you. And yes, please follow, please share, please like if you know anyone who'd like to see some info about the vellum and the shimmer vellum, then please share. And um, yeah, get get creative. I can't wait to see what you all come up with. And have a wonderful week. And we'll see you next week. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone. Hehehehe. <laughs>